In this video, you'll learn how to create a website with 100% free hosting. This website will serve as the launch pad for your affiliate marketing income. And in total, it'll take just 20 minutes to start. The final product of this video is simple. It's a very basic website, but it will serve as the basis for what you'll create next. In the next video, I'll show you how to set up all of the accompanying tools that help your website get to the next level. And in the one after that, I'll show you how to write a piece of high quality value add content that will get you ranked in Google. One final note before we jump in. In the previous video, I showed you how to pick an industry. And in this video, you're going to be launching a website. And to launch your website, you'll need a domain name. And that domain name needs to be related to the industry that you chose. So if you haven't chosen an industry yet, hop back to that previous video linked in the description in order to choose your industry first before completing this process. Okay guys, to set up your website, all you're going to need is a laptop or a desktop computer. It doesn't matter if it's Windows, Mac, or a Chromebook. All you need is an internet browser to set this up. The first step to setting up this website is to head over to bitnami.com slash stack slash WordPress and click on the single tier cloud hosting option. These guys have packages set up that will deploy WordPress directly into one of these cloud options with pretty much one click. There's a very small amount of configuration and I'm gonna walk you through how to do that right now. The cloud that we're gonna to use today is Amazon Web Services. I've used AWS for years with absolutely no problems, and the startup companies that I've worked for in the past have all used AWS as well with great results. To start launching your WordPress website in AWS, just click the Launch WordPress button. After you've clicked Launch, you'll end up at this page, where you need to sign in to Bitnami in order to launch your AWS instance. So you can sign in with Google, Facebook, GitHub, Microsoft, or create your own account. Here, I'll sign up with a Google account because I don't think I've used any of them before. I think I will go with this one. So accept their terms of service and continue on. In this page, all you have to do is name your server and link a Bitnami Cloud account. So at this point in time, you probably don't have a Bitnami Cloud account. So just click Add Cloud Account in order to create one. And to do that, you just create a password and save it. That's all that's required here. This password will be linked to whichever account you created at the beginning. So if you linked a Google account, this password will be linked to that Google account. Now Bitnami is going to launch a copy of their virtual machine in AWS on our behalf. In order to allow them to do that on our behalf, we need an AWS account in the first place. So let's go to AWS and create an account now. To create your AWS account, head over to this portal.aws.amazon.com slash billing slash signup. So all you need to do is enter an email address, password, and a name for the account. This can just be some arbitrary thing. And then click continue. I'll go through this process here to make sure it goes smoothly for you as well. In order to finish creating your account, you will need to add a credit card. However, they won't bill this credit card unless you exceed the free tier usage maximums. With the server that we're going to be creating today, you will never exceed the free tier usage maximums, so your credit card won't be charged until the free tier time limit elapses, which is in one year's time. So with this plan, you get one free year of hosting, after which time it'll be about eight bucks a month. Once you complete all of the identity verification stuff, you'll end up at this page where you need to select a support plan. Now, don't select any of these plans here. You don't need support. Just go with the free version. The server that you're going to be setting up is extremely simple, and you won't need anything complicated. Okay, it looks like we are all done. So time to sign in and get our credentials for Bitnami. Okay, perfect. We've made it to the AWS Management Console. This is where you'll manage the server that Bitnami sets up on your behalf. Now we haven't forgotten why we came here in the first place. We need to get an access key ID and a secret access key from AWS for Bitnami to launch a machine in the cloud on our behalf. So head over to the AWS Management Console and click on your name and then click on My Security Credentials. Now don't worry about this, our account is extremely simple and is only going to have one server, so we don't need to manage any fancy security stuff. All we have to do is go down here to Access Keys and create a new access key. So highly recommended that you download this file and put it in a folder on your computer that you remember the location of. So don't just stick this on your desktop randomly, create an affiliate marketing folder on your desktop and save this file there. So let's copy 
the access key ID into here. And let's copy the secret access key into here. And then click on continue. Okay, now our Bitnami account is linked to our AWS account, and so they can launch instances on our behalf. You might get stuck here if AWS is still verifying your account. It can take up to two hours for them to verify your account completely, and you won't be able to launch any instances until then. If you're getting that message, just go watch a movie or something and come back in two hours when your account will be verified and continue with this step. Once you do finally make it past, all you have to do to complete launching your website is click this nice big orange launch button. All right, now all of the options are unlocked for us. So a few things to notice. First, our cloud account is linked to our AWS account. That's perfect. Secondly, we're launching a WordPress version 5 image. That's actually not what we want. We want a WordPress version 5 image with Nginx and SSL. So the reason why we want the SSL version is because Google uses SSL as a search signal. So your website will rank higher if it is secure with SSL. In this video, I'm not going to show you how to go through with setting up SSL completely, but if you guys want me to, I can create a separate video in the future to show you how to finish that setup. It will be a little bit more involved, but I can give you a step-by-step, -step, kind of like this. Okay, so the region that you want to select is either US East 1 or US West 2. And the reason is they are the cheapest. So in one year's time, when you do actually have to start paying for this server, you only have to pay $9.35 a month instead of, let's see one of the more expensive ones, $10.32 or something like that. It's just a little bit cheaper. Since I'm in the West, I'm going to go with the West region. So it looks like the rest of this is all good. So let's go and create our server. So it looks like Bitnami is going to set up a WordPress user on our website on our behalf. The username is going to be user, and the password is going to be whatever is behind these stars. I won't reveal those on camera. So our server is just setting up. It looks like it's 39%. I will just skip ahead and get back to you when this is actually all finished. Okay guys, 98% done. Now's a good time for me to explain exactly what these things down here mean. So in orange writing, there's a pem and a ppk. So if you're not a computer person, you probably don't know what these mean. Basically, PEM and PPK are just different forms of passwords. So if you want to access the server that was created for you by Bitnami on AWS, you can use these two keys to do something called SSH, which means secure shell. So if, you, if you're on a Mac, you can open some, like, something like this, and you can type in ssh-i your file.pem, which is this file down here, and then your username, which will be bitnami at your IP, which is 54 dot something. So once you do that, you'll gain access to your server via the, the terminal. So you'll get access exactly like this, terminal access. So you can execute commands, you can change directories, you can create stuff, you can restart your server. If you guys do want me to create a video about how to set up SSL, you will need to use SSH in order to do that. But the SSH that I will have you guys do will actually be in the Chrome browser and it will be a lot simpler. But I'm not sure that that's necessary yet. If there's a lot of interest, I'll make it. Okay, so our server is now running. So you can actually access your server just by clicking on this button right here. And there you go. Your website is now running. This is your very own WordPress blog self-hosted and completely free of charge to you for one full year. The only real problem that I'm seeing right now is this Bitnami banner. No one wants to see this Bitnami banner. There is a little bit more involved way to get rid of this, considered the correct way, but to do that you need to SSH into the server and I don't want to make you guys do that. So there's a cheat way that you can get rid of this as well. So first things first, go into your WordPress admin. So all you have to do is add slash wp-admin to your IP address up here. And go in here, copy your username, which is just user, and copy your password, which is some long thing, and then sign in to your very own WordPress website. And in order to hide that stupid Bitnami banner, head over to Appearance, 
and then to customize. And in customize, you'll see this thing that says additional CSS. So to hide this banner, just copy the code that is in the description below that says hashtag bitnami banner and then open bracket display none. And there you go. You can see it compiles in real time and it hides that banner. So this is kind of a cheat way. There is a correct way to do this, but unless you guys want a more involved explanation, you can stick with this easy way. So just hit publish. And there we go. Banner be gone. Now let's go to the root of our website and it's gone permanently. So now that our website is all up and running, there is a glaring issue, and that's that it doesn't have a domain name, it's just an IP address. Let's head on over to godaddy.com in order to purchase a domain name and send it to our website. Basically, a domain name is just a word or phrase that directs people using a browser to an IP address, which is just a server. So whenever we type in a domain up here, like something.com, the browser will first go to something called a domain name server and ask them, hey, do you know what something.com is? And they say, why, yes, yes, I do. And they provide the browser with an IP address. So that's all we're going to be doing right now is purchasing a domain name that will sit in those DNS servers. So to find your domain, head into GoDaddy and purchase whatever you want. Some cool shoe website .com. Let's search this up. Well, what a surprise, it is available. So you can see this website costs $2.99 for the first year and additional years are 17 bucks. So we can get two years for 20 bucks, pretty good deal. So when you add these to your cart and you go to checkout, they're going to try to sell you a whole bunch of crap that you don't need and you need to avoid all of that. It's time to engage sketchy marketing dodge mode. So privacy protection, is actually not one of those things you might want to dodge. Privacy protection is pretty useful, and the reason it's useful is because every domain name that's registered needs a registrar. So if I register this domain name, that registrar will be me. So all of my personal information will be listed under whois.com. So if you look up my domain name, let's say this one, my personal website, The registrant contact of my website is Domains by Proxy LLC, which is exactly what the service that you purchase when you purchase privacy protection. So if you're okay having your personal information on the website under your domain name, totally fine, just say no thanks. But if you don't like that, just go ahead and click privacy protection. It's, it's gonna be another 20 bucks for two years. So the things that you don't wanna purchase are this one. You don't want a website, that's not important. You don't want that. You don't want that. So, okay, we are, we've dodged all the crap. Oh, big surprise. They want us to undodge and register a whole bunch of extra shit. So .co domain name? Nope, we don't want that. Man, these guys are the worst. How all this stuff even get in my card in the first place? There we go. $20.98 for two years. Once you complete the purchase of your domain name, it will appear under your quick links and manage domains. So just use your imagination here. I'm not actually gonna purchase who coolshoes.com or whatever. So in order to set up this domain, in order to point to our new website, we need the IP address of the website. So go over to your Bitnami website and copy this IP address. Then head back over to your domain manager, click on this gear and select manage DNS. And that means manage domain name servers. Those are those servers that point to the IP addresses. The A record is the one that we want to modify. That's the at record. It's where the domain name points by default. There are a whole bunch of other records that you see in the domain, but those aren't important right now. All we need is the at record. So to edit that. So to edit this, just click the pencil, say points to, and enter your IP address, minus the HTTP, only the numbers and the periods, and then hit save. And within maybe a minute or two, you should see this come up. All right, so once you've completed that process, you then have a website with a correctly functioning domain name and a fully functional WordPress server. Before I leave you guys today, let's finish the basic setup of your WordPress website. 
So next week I'm going to show you a bit more advanced setup, but for now let's just finish the basic stuff. To finish this, head back over to your WP Admin, and then the Settings and the General tab. So you're going to want to set your site title, and your site title should be very related to your domain. So what was my domain? It was my cool shoes website. So cool shoes website is my site title. And my tagline is we review shoes real good. Because this is a very high quality site, wouldn't want you guys to think that our grammar was poor. All right. In order to edit our email address, we actually need to use a little bit of a trick. So let's just finish this off and save these two changes. And then to change our email address, go into the URL and delete the word general. So the final URL that you'll see is your domain name, wpadmin slash options.php. And this is the super secret options page. So to change the email address, scroll on down until you see admin email. And then enter your actual email address here and then scroll to the bottom and hit save. That circumvents the need to verify the email address. At the moment, we don't have our email server set up, so we actually can't verify the email address. The final thing I'd like to show you guys how to do is install a new theme. So the theme that it comes with is 2019. I consider it to be quite ugly. The theme that I would like to recommend is called Orpheo. It's available here. I'll leave this link in the description if you'd like to use it as well. It's totally free, and that's one of the things that's so great about it. So to download this theme, just hit the download button, enter your email address, don't sign up for their stupid newsletter, and you'll end up with a zip file. And that should be in your downloads folder. So in order to install this theme on your WordPress website, head over to your WP Admin, Appearance, Themes, and click Add New. And you're going to want to hit the Upload Theme button, and then choose the zip file that you downloaded earlier. So here's mine and just hit the install button. All right, there we go. Completely installed and now activated. So now if you go to my cool, cool shoes website, you see my site title, cool shoes website, and we review shoes real good. Since we changed the theme, we lost all of our theme customizations. So we have to hide that Bitnami banner one more time. So just head back down to additional CSS slash bitnami dash banner display none. All right, and then hit publish one more time and it's gone. So there we go. This is our full website. I recommend you spend some time over the next few days familiarizing yourself with WordPress. Next week, I'm going to show you guys how to set up all the auxiliary tools that you need in order to run a successful affiliate marketing website. The tools that I'll be showing you next week are pretty much all Google products. So the first one will be Search Console, then Analytics, Google Tag Manager, Google Optimize. Might show you Stat Counter. Each of these tools is going to help you to get more traffic and get more out of your existing traffic. So stay tuned and I will see you guys next time.